Update on the bus. The mailman brought me to dinner. Water tank number two. Tell you why I got two water tanks. It shut off. I can't see. Just touch the back screen. And uh, I got these. Two of them were cheaper than one big one. And one big one was 81 inches long three feet wide and 11 inches tall or something like that. It took up all the space under the bed for the water tank. I didn't want that. I want under the bed to be for some storage. Besides that, one tank cost $350 for 100 gallons without shipping. These cost me $86 a piece. Although, shipping and taxes, and Amazon does now put taxes on you, which I think is bullshit, but anyway. Uh, I got both of these for $240. And as you can see, they don't take up that much room. And I'm going to have 94 gallons of water. I'm sure that I can live for two weeks on 94 gallons of water. Of course, the inspector has to inspect. Okay, not only that, I got this in the mail the other day. Your inlet water, fresh water inlet, and your city water. RV hookup. So I got that. Then of course I think I've already showed water filter. Came in. And the not that this is a commercial, but I got a sure flow. Water pump, 45 psi, three gallons per minute flow. Yeah, so we got a lot of the components that we need to making the water happen in the bus. I think accumulator is about the only thing that we have left to get. And that doesn't have to be a right away thing. But uh, the way I understand it, accumulator will take the pressure off the pump and put it on the accumulator. Makes the pump last a lot longer, makes the startups easier. I uh, will be getting an accumulator, but that will be at a later date. But well, for now, we got some parts in, we got some work to do. That's the update. Hello everybody, another update, this is the uh, where we're going to put the uh, water inlet, but I wanted to show you something first about tools in tight places. You may not be able to see it on these glasses. 
right there where my finger's pointing, you'll see a line across those glasses. Well, a line across those glasses was made by that blade right there. And you say, how's that happen? Well, when you take power tools into tight places, like under this bed, I don't know if you can see it, but right there at the end of my finger is a mark that goes up the wall. Is where that cutoff blade went. I was laying on my back, cutting that hole in the wall. I went to reposition myself. I don't know, I, I think the grinder slipped out of my hand. I'm not sure what happened. All I know is that I felt it coming for my face. I pushed it away where it hit that wall and stalled out. I'm lucky it didn't cut the wires in half. I'm lucky it didn't cut my face in half. When you get in tight places with power tools, I've done it all my life. And the minute that you get in a hurry or the minute you let your guard down, you're gonna seriously get hurt. You wanna know what I'm thankful for? I just escaped another serious injury. I could have lost my left eye real fast. So it was kind of a wake up call. I know you've heard people say this before, but you gotta slow down and be careful. Okay, here's the water. This will be where you fill up your fresh water tanks. This is your city water. You hook up your hose. That's in. Water tank one. Water tank two. 94 gallons of water. Filter, I'm probably gonna mount to that two by four, just above it. As you can see over there, the water is inlet. I'll go around and show you the rest of it. The whole bus has been insulated and stained, which it really stinks. But I'm sure that'll go away in a few days. But everything's a little darker with the stain. I don't really mind. I think it's pretty. I've got to go back over it with polyurethane. The parts here that are not stained, you're not going to see. That's going to be the kitchen cabinet all the way down to here. This is where the fridge is going to sit, so you're still not going to see it. But as far as the trim goes, I'm real happy with that. I think it turned out really well. Not dark to be filming, I guess, but over here, that's where your couch is going to go. You won't see it. I think it give a, a lot deeper look to the wood. Shows off the grain better. Back in the dungeon. I wanted to show you. Here's the water inlets, which will connect to these ports. The water tank, water pump, electric line for it. This pump, this, excuse me, this tank will be plumbed over and connect into this tank. You're probably saying, why didn't you put them together? Well, if I did, I'd have a hard time getting anything in the back door for storage. And I want to keep that free for backpacks or, I don't know, whatever else I want to put in the back of here. Uh, so, one on one side, one on the other, there'll be some plumbing. But that'll come in a later date. Ooh, that bathroom's really dark.
but it's an update on the bus. Electrical cabinet, and right now junk drawer keeps all the keeps all my supplies. But anyway, it's kind of a nice day. Thanks for watching.